I'm in Yay! Welcome back again! <laughs> We're gonna be watching some more Avatar The Last Airbender. We're loving the series so far. Episode I, six! Episode six! Is I am Nack and this I am Nack and this is Ibis. Yes, and Storm Akima. We're very excited to see this. We've been enjoying the series. They saw it a while ago when they were very little, sporadically here and there, and I watched the whole series a long time ago, and it's a lot of fun. So it's, it's really cool to relive it, and there's a lot of things that we forgot. So it's kind of neat to go in and remember how everything kind of came to be. They remember a lot of the bending, which is cool. We saw King Boomy. Yes, it's so cool. And then we saw King Boomy last time, and he's such a good earthbender, so that was very impressive at the battle young, at the end. He's a very goofy character. And he's very silly, yes, very goofy. of an entire earth, like, rock city that has a bunch of earthbenders in there is a very interesting interesting concept and you could do a lot with that you can you really can and we were also interested with the gemini thing like yeah <laughs> once again game theory if you're watching this Please. get on that yeah get on about gemini <laughs> how would it like how would it do well in your digestive tract also how does it grow <laughs> yeah how does it grow it's very interesting that's actually a good and maybe there's something on bending too Yes, we love the bending. So, all right, so we're going to get into episode six, and I think it's called Imprisoned, from what I can see in the tiny little thumbnail. I don't thumbnail. know what that has to do with anything. I don't know. Maybe it's because they're imprisoned in that? So, imprisoned. No, just a, just a tidy little insignificant theory right there. <laughs> Chapter six, Imprisoned. Hmm. And some rock-shaped nuts that might just be rocks. <laughs> Dig it. Seriously, what else you got? Mm. What was that? Nothing. Ooh. <laughs> it's coming from over there. Hello there. I'm Katara. What's your name? <laughs> uh oh. Mm. That's unnecessary. He said, like, "Don't follow me." I just wanted to say hi. Well, the guy wanted nuts apparently because he got his hat for trading nuts. You're late. Get started on your chores. We saw you earthbending. <gasps> they saw you doing what? They're crazy, Mom. I mean, look at how they're dressed. Oh, yeah, this is kind of rude. You know yeah. how dangerous that is? You can keep the copper ones. Yeah. Jerk. Nice guy. How long has the Fire Nation been here? Five years. Fire Lord Ozai uses our town's coal mines to fuel his ships. What can the Fire Nation do to you that they haven't done already? Not they sure. could take Haru away. Like they took his father. Mm -hmm. Now that's just depressing. I'll make sure Abba doesn't eat all your hay. <laughs> <laughs> the pause. He starts eating I'm again. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. You taught me everything I know. See this necklace? My mother gave it to me. It's beautiful. I lost my mother in a Fire Nation raid. Oh. This necklace is all I have left of her. And he's still Not smiling. <laughs> no. Help me! Help them! There's no time! Pull harder! Please, there's no one around to see you. It's the only way! Earth bending when he shouldn't, but he wants to save the guy. He needs to save a life. Yeah. Haru, you did it! I like that guy. This village is crawling with Fire Nation troops. If they discover you're here, Aang, we'll be eating fireballs for breakfast. Good night. I'd rather eat fireballs than nuts. Good night. <laughs> <gasps> That's uh -oh. him! That's the Earthbender! It's not good, the guy he, he saved! He you! Yeah. He I saved your life and what do you pay him with? You not repay nice. him by telling the Fire Nation. Mm -hmm. Actually, I kind of saw that coming. Oh. They took him! They took Haru away! What? The old man turned him into the Fire Nation! It's all my fault! I forced him into Earthbending! Uh oh. And why would they do that? Because they're going to arrest me for earthbending. Huh? Do you remember your cue? Yeah, yeah. Just relax. You're taking all the fun out of this. By this, do you mean intentionally being captured by an army of ruthless firebenders? Exactly. That's fun stuff. True. 
out! Here they come! Get in your places! <clears throat> Get out of my way, Pipsqueak! How dare you call me Pipsqueak, you giant-eared creep! You better <laughs> I am so much emotion. Seriously, back off. I will not back off! I bet elephants get together and make fun of how large your ears are. I'll show you who's boss. Earthbending style. <laughs> Mamer, he's earthbending. <laughs> no, you idiot, it's the girl. Oh, of course. <laughs> You're an idiot. That was awesome. You will succeed here if you simply abide... <laughs> What kind of guest dishonors his host by interrupting him? Take him below. You will notice, Earth vendors, that this rig is made entirely of metal. You are miles away from any rock or earth. It is impossible. No. Good day. Good day. That is so good. Katara? Hello. What are you doing here? It's my fault you were captured. I came to rescue you. Got guts, Katara. I'll give you That's that. That's true. Mm -hmm. Come on. There's someone I want you to meet. This is my father, Tyro. Dad, this is Katara. It's an honor to meet you. Have some dinner, Katara. Trigon? It <laughs> sounds like it. as bad as it looks. Hope that one day some of us can get back home and forget this ever happened. How can you say that? You sound like you've already given up. Katara. I admire your courage, and I envy your youth. The people's <laughs> lives are at stake here. Some of you may think that the Fire Nation has made you powerless. Yes, they have taken away your ability to bend. But they can't take away your courage. It is the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. Hearts that will remain unbroken when all rock and stone has eroded away. I can tell you the Avatar has returned! Let us fight for our freedom! That's a good speech. It was a very good speech, yeah. They're not motivated, still not. It didn't work. They already know that there's no getting off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Your 12 hours are up. Where's Haru? We've got to get out of here. I can't. We don't have much time. There are guards everywhere. Get on. I'm not giving up on these people. Determination. Undertale. We can't abandon these people. There has to be a way to help them. Maybe he's right. Come on, it's better too hide. inspirational. What? It was a giant flying buffalo, sir, with an empty saddle. Which was it? A buffalo or a bison? What's uh, the difference? I'm not sure what the difference is. I'll decide what the point is. <laughs> oh, God. He throws someone you, off the of the... And because the he didn't agree ring. with him. Uh, sir, mm. what? It's harsh. That was the captain you just threw overboard. So then wake up someone I haven't thrown overboard and search the rig. I wish I knew how to make a hurricane. The warden would run away and we'd steal his keys. If there was just a way to help them help themselves. For that they need some kind of earth or some rock. Metal is made by rock. It's almost mm -hmm. dawn. We'll so turn your it has rocks in it. You sure this is gonna work? When he does his air bending, the coal only has one place to go. Right back here. There's the intruder! Good plan. Stay back! I'm warning you! You're one mistake away from dying where you stand. Ah! Uh. <coughs> I'm almost fine. Yeah? Here's your chance, Earthbenders! Take it! Your fate is in your own hands! <laughs> Foolish girl! You thought a few inspirational words and some coal would change these people? Look at these people. black, <laughs> hopeless faces. Their spirits were broken a long time ago. You failed. I should be laughing at it, but this is such good voice. That's just very You need to die. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then they could bend that and burn their skin. And the coal would just absorb all the heat. Yeah. Good weapon. They could bend the burning coal and then burn them. Mm. That mom was good. Look at him. Oh my god. Impressed it. Is there anyone? 
anyone here who isn't a bender? Nope. They imprisoned all the earth benders. Uh, so It's like a gun. Ooh, nice. a Gatling gun. <laughs> yeah, that's a good quote. Here, cowards flute. I want to thank you for saving me. For saving us. My family and everyone here owes you. The Fire Nation will regret the day they set foot on our land! Come with us. I can't. Your mission is to take back your home. Ours is to get Aang to the North Pole. My mother's necklace! It's <laughs> gone! Uh-oh. Zuko! They have trackings! They have tracking stuff. Oh, we got our necklace! No! <laughs> Dave Filoni! Ooh, you know David Filoni? Oh, he yeah. made Star Wars Rebels and he helped on Star Wars The Clone Wars. Oh, you guys are good. You know <laughs> that's stuff. really cool. You guys are really good with names. That's awesome. No one ever told me he helped make this. Yeah, that's they had a lot of big people on this too, which is pretty neat. Guitar's what? necklace is gone. No, in the hands of Zuko. Uh, <laughs> those um, yeah. those uh, lizards, I believe, can track. Yeah, yeah. So hmm, use the scent of her necklace to go find the Avatar. That's a good idea. But yeah, so they use coal to retaliate and go against the Fire Nation, thanks to Katara. And, uh, it's a you know, revolution. A yes, it's a revolution. With help from her friends to make it so. Make Is it, so. it just me, or do the Fire Nation kind of, are the Fire Nation kind of like Nazis? Yeah. They kind of like, they have like supreme power. Yeah, very smart. <laughs> pretty intense but it's good so Katara and her group are leading everyone in a good direction they help that village the earthbenders want to be you know they want to they're uh, actually really strong yes hey, yes they, they want to support ship, would automatically and, think hey wait a minute they have coal it's like <laughs> yeah, coal is actually pretty scary. How they compressed it, made a huge boulder attack or cannon ball right into the door. Kind also, of thing. it's not a good idea to like throw the fire to fire bend on them because then they would be flaming and then you could throw them at them and then That's burn actually your skin. That would be that would scary. be very ironic as well. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon as always. We're enjoying Avatar still. Woohoo! And they do remember a lot as we go. They're like, oh yeah, I remember this. I remember that. Um, but but certain things again tying this all together, they don't always remember. But it's, it's fun to relive it and remember, you know, as we go along. So thank you again. Bye.